Hey Cancer, welcome to my channel. This is Flame Tarot, here to give some messages. All right, hopefully y'all been doing well out there. All right, let's see. So coming into y'all's reading, I heard chair. I don't know if I heard chair, chariot, or if they're talking about share. Or something like that, cherries, something like that is here. Anyway. Maybe that's significant or something like that. Or cherub here, like a cherub, a angel cherubim. Something like that is here. All right, let's see. I'm going to get some messages and see what's going on with y'all. Uh, let's see. What's going on with the cancer? All right. Ten of wands in reverse. All right. It says doing it all, carrying the, the burden, struggles, Delegation and release, overstressed, burnout, and depressed. Okay, so you could be burnt out right now with something, the way that things are going, or you may need to do something a different way. Some sort of changes here. Um, wow, look at that. The Three of Swords is underneath the bed. Some sort of heartbreak is here. Uh, maybe you're heartbroken because someone, I don't know, something ended. I'm getting something ended. It was some sort of fight, possibly, and something ended. It's like a celebration turns into fighting or something like that. And the police get called or something like that. Somebody could have died as well, too. I'm sorry if you're dealing with the loss. I just lost my grandmother. Um, she was 99. Uh, yeah, so you could be dealing with a loss. Look at that, the Ten of Cups on top of the deck. Wow, so this... This could definitely be talking about family. This is two tens back to back. So it's like uh, maybe maybe you're having a hard time providing something for your family or something like that. Or maybe you're depressed. Something to do with your so, something is something is a heavy burden for you. Uh, I don't know why I started shuffling. All right, let's see. Let's get what else is here for cancer. Something is, but I'm also feeling like you're releasing something here too. You could be releasing some sort of burdens. Something like that is here. Let's see. Look at that. The Four of Cups is next. Uh, I feel like you may be you you may be contemplating something. Something may not be good enough, or you may not be satisfied with something. Uh, it says meditation, contemplation, apathy. Reevaluation, restlessness, disconnected boredom. Hmm. You could be bored with something as well too. Something uh, could be really stressful or something like that. Or also, I feel like all the burdens could be put on you. Wow! Look at that ten of swords is underneath the deck. This is another ten. This is confirmation. So I feel like you you feel burnt out or you feel like something is over. Possibly with an Aries or something like that, or maybe a Gemini or somebody that has uh, those two in their chart. And then the two of wands. It's like somebody is uh, just looking out for themselves, it seems like. Or somebody could be ruthless as well, too. Or somebody could be, somebody could have died as well. Or somebody could also be expecting you to do everything and you may be burnt out with something. Look at that, Three of Cups, or maybe, uh, let's see, the Page of Wands, I don't know, somebody sees you celebrating and starting something brand new or talking to new people, possibly, uh, possibly after something didn't work out or something seems too stressful or something like that, or, um, hmm. High Priestess in reverse. Now, these cards keep wanting to come out. Maybe it's the angle I'm sitting in, but we're going to read it in reverse. It says, Secrets, uh, Harm, Hidden Agenda, Disconnected from Intuition. Yeah, I feel like it's, it also says withdrawn, uh, silence, selfish, shallowness, ignorance, and misunderstanding. Uh, somebody could have misunderstood what you, you, maybe you didn't ask a lot of enough questions or maybe you didn't go with your intuition about something as well too because i feel like oh you know what this also could be you went into something expecting something and your expectations didn't get met or something like that 
is here. Uh, also, somebody could have could have had some sort of hidden agenda as well too. Um, secret. Somebody could have been trying to harm you or something like that. Or uh, how that? Wow! Well, look at that. Page of Swords came out. Somebody definitely spying on you. Paying attention. Uh, possibly gossiping about you or trying to see if you're burdened as well by something uh, not working out or also somebody also you could be meditating you could be meditating but you could be doing some sort of a healing work by yourself or like something that, that just involves you like some sort of maybe possibly some sort of magic or something like that or just you and one more person, possibly. Also, somebody is seeing you as putting your burdens down as well, too. And uh, um, somebody's paying attention to what you let go, possibly. Uh, look at that. The six, six of Wands is, is underneath the day. Something is in the public. Something is public. So something you, you're doing you could have gone public or something like that. Or... Uh, I feel like somebody's definitely trying to do some sort of research or get some sort of information on, uh, but they're disconnected from you or something like that, or you're disconnected from them, or they can't get an answer. They don't. They don't know. Look at that. The devil came out. This is somebody you could be in a contract with, this, or this could be talking about a Capricorn. Uh, this talks. This says shadow self attachment addiction. Temptation, destructive behavior, materialism, codependency, and toxicity. So this gives this gives this is giving me like somebody disconnect disconnected. Somebody's not interested in possibly in someone sexually, or somebody's looking for a new sex partner <laughs> or something like that. Or this could also be someone you're attached to as well. But this doesn't necessarily have to be about sex. This this could be about some sort of contract as well. Um But also, this could be talking about some sort of temptation as well, too. Somebody is tempting. Uh, also, this is a tricky energy. When I see the high priestess in reverse, this is some, someone that's uh, trying to see if some, more, some sort of black magic has worked on you or something like that. Somebody's paying attention, trying to pay attention or get some sort of insight or some sort of news to see if some sort of... Uh, Black magic has been working or something like that to see if you, I don't, I don't know, but I don't think it is because you started off with the ten of wands in reverse. It's like you're releasing your burdens, or um, I don't know. You could also be depressed as well too. But this somebody's trying to see. Uh, this gives me some sort of manipulation. Look at that. The three of swords came out anyway. So yeah. Heartbreak, suffering, grief, emotional pain, sorrow, hurt, divorce, loss, depression, betrayal, disloyalty, delays, upset, and confusion. It says better to know the truth than to live a lie. So uh, I feel like something is heartbreaking here. Somebody, something is uh, really sad or something like that. Or somebody's trying to pay attention to, to see if you're sad or... Uh, about some sort of news. Uh, but also something could be heartbreaking too as well too. Somebody could have I don't know, I want I don't want to say lost their life, but somebody could um be suffering in silence or something like that or hiding how they truly feel. Look at that, the Queen of Swords is underneath the deck. Um so something about cutting things out of your life or like cutting people off or cutting situations off or maybe somebody placed some sort of burdens on you and then you just cut that shit off or something like that or I don't know so it's the energy kind of like that it's here it says unbiased judgment justice independence clear boundaries coldness direct communication clear-minded and perceptive yeah something to do with your work it's like you're very it's like you're a master of what you do wow you could have gone to school or something like that or like you could uh, also you could have. I'm, I'm getting like you could you could have gone to school for you could have a degree in something. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, or 
whatever you do is, is giving back. It's I don't know. You got the five of cups and then the six of cups. You're able to turn something around and make a business out of it possibly as well too is what I'm kind of picking up. It's like you're... I don't know. This is you coming up as the, 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 the Ten of Swords after the, the Ten of Wands in reverse. This is like somebody that's really powerful. I don't know. That's what I'm just feeling like. Look at that. Judgment is on top of the deck. Archangel Gabriel is here. Yes, look at that. The Seven of Wands. Yes, yeah, helping you fight this these, this hidden battle. This is kind of like giving me the energy of Degula and the Adam song. What's that? The battle is not yours. It's the Lord's. This is like hidden competition or like people that you don't even see but I feel like your angels see that they in the sky they see everything you know what I'm saying so this is some sort of spiritual protection is here as well too but also I feel like you you're strong <laughs> look at that the tower maybe you're able to cause tower moments in people's lives or shake their foundation or something like that two of cups I don't know. I don't know what this is. That's going a little too far. Let's let's just stop right there. So something about a loss is here. Somebody being really burdened about a loss, or somebody's trying to, or somebody is could possibly watching you grieving, or somebody could be trying to see if you are grieving behind something. All right, we're gonna see why this. Um, why this uh, high priestess is in reverse. Why is this high priestess in reverse? All right, we got the queen, queen of wands, queen of matches. All right, it says courage, uh, fierce energy, and take charge. But I feel like this also gives me the energy of somebody being strong enough to push push past what they don't see or like this is some sort of secret hidden energy or secret strength that is unseen or something like that or this it could be deemed as devilish as well the queen of bad the queen of wands <laughs> with the high priestess in reverse that's uh oh that's a hell of a combination right there that's like a a witch high priestess like a I don't know what the devil there. I don't. I don't know. Six of buttons. Uh, six of pentacles. Something about equal give and take, or somebody receiving something possibly. Uh, let's let's get one more with this. Uh, one or two of buttons. Two. This is the two of pentacles. So basically, somebody's trying to balance something here, or somebody could be imbalanced as well too, or somebody could have. Also, I'm getting somebody could have a, a well balanced dark and light side as well too. Like like it's a bal it's a perfect balance between those two. It's like this high priestess, whatever it is. It's like they wear their witchy side out. I don't know. They flaunt their shit. I don't know. They're they're bad. I don't know. This is how they're <laughs> whoever this is. So I feel like maybe you're. Maybe somebody was trying to burden you, but you're really courageous. I feel like you don't you don't show your hand as well, too. Uh, let's see. Let's get one for the uh, devil card. Why is the devil card here? All right, we got the two of needles, the two of swords. Wow. So this talks about a decision being made. So I feel like you're able to make up your mind about something. So this could be about a contract, like we said earlier. So this is about, it's like you you made your mind up. It's like you you were strong enough to say no to the devil. <laughs> it's what I'm picking up. It was like yeah. temptation. I just feel like this is... This is the cup of temptation right there, okay? That's the cup of temptation coming from what God knows where. But you rejected that too. Or something like that. Or it's like you're putting all... It's like you're leaving things behind you. And people are watching this or seeing this or something like that. Uh, the three of needles. Look at that. Again. It's like you're putting things behind you. 
Uh, but somebody could be heartbroken behind this. This is heartbreaks and suffering and sorrow. Yeah. Or you could be sad about something. I don't know. <sighs> Eight of Cups, inner journey, walking away. Yeah, somebody, you could be sad that you have to walk away from something or someone. Let's get one more with this devil card. The King of Cups. It says compassion, diplomacy, and um, balance. Yeah, something about balance is here. But also your emotions as well, too. Having a, a really strong emotion. This is a lot of court cards coming out. This is like somebody that's able to uh, override temptations when it comes to like emotional Something emotional, dealing with emotions or something like that, or able to make a good, solid choice when it comes to toxic things, possibly. Something like that is here. Uh, look at that, the six of buttons again. So yeah, something about an equal give and take is here. Uh, the eight of cups, let's just get one more. Let's get one more. So let's see what this three of swords is there. Cause this, this, this was a, this came out twice. Wow, the queen, <laughs> queen of Swords again. You got two Queen of Swords. So yeah, this talks about um, being being clear of, of what you want. This says clear-mindedness. It says honesty, uh, unbiased. Just the, everything we just read. So yeah, it's like you're you're sharp. You're sharp-minded. I just feel like your mind is very sharp. Also, there's this uh, herb at Gen, uh, GNC. It's called. Panax ginseng, P-A-N-A-X ginseng, and it comes in these like little tubes. That's, they're like this big. They come in a whole box or whatever, and it comes with like the, a little straw. Anyway, it gives you a lot of energy. It makes you really sharp. Anyway, so something about the, something could be uh, important about that herb, possibly, or maybe you're looking for an herb that's going to stimulate your mind or your brain. Uh, that's a good one. Also, any type, sort of ginseng. Also, uh, what else? Carrots are good. Vitamin. Uh, I feel like B12 is really good for your brain. Go to cola. Uh, yeah, of course, neem. Anyway, seven of buttons is underneath the deck. Seven of uh, pentacles. So this talks about pers uh, perseverance and things um, also leaving behind things that, that don't serve you or leaving behind things that are burdensome that you don't see no reward in. Like, or I don't know, I just feel like this is blocking you from uh, achieving more or something like that, whatever this is. Yeah, just keep go keep going. Betrayal is wow. This seven of needles is on top of the deck. This talks about betrayal, deception, and being cunning. Wow, and the four of cups, contemplation. Yeah, so this is like the energy somebody else is in. I just feel like we just read this energy uh, <laughs> right here. This is like really somebody opposite of you. Uh, so I feel like while you're able to make up your mind and be clear minded about things, somebody else isn't. Basically, that's, that's what I just picked up for that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. This is a new deck I just, I got. This is, uh, I forgot who, who made this. I think her name is Asia or something like that. Wow, this says, the one that flipped over said labyrinth. It says, even when you feel lost, there's always a way through the labyrinth. That's the reason. It was the reason that it, why they flipped over. I'm, I'm going to take that one. Well, you know what? Maybe I should take all of these. It says obstacles. It says look for ways around the obstacle to find happiness. And then illusion. Avoid the trap of mistaking a fantasy for a true soul connection. Absolutely. That's what this could have been too. So this is like uh, wow, look at that. The next card is clarity. It says, take time to uh, think about your situation and gain clarity. This is like your wake-up call. I just This is also the energy of better to know the truth than to live a lie. So this is kind of like being snapping out of the illusion of who possibly you thought someone could have been. But 
I feel like all it was doing was leaving you depressed or just like confused or whatever or I don't know. Some people be wanting you to be like that. Shit. Motherfuckers are fucked up. Why? Wow, it says respect. That's what people don't have. It says respect your relationships. Respect. Uh, let's see. Let's get some of these messages. I like the, the deck. Kamakshi. Kamakshi. It says, fill me with gratitude for all you give. May I be a vehicle for wherever you go. So yeah, I feel like you're trusting in the universe right now. This is what they want you to do. Just be a vehicle. Just like, let, I don't know how they be saying this in church. Let them use you. <laughs> let them use you. Or just let, you know, uh, the spirits guide you as well too. There's also this... Um, Indian deity, Hindu deity is, is important. Uh, also, it says invite help. Oh, Tara energy. It says in, invite the divine to pursue you seriously. Just say, I'm finally ready. God, pursue me. Yeah, maybe that's also something you need to do is surrender. I don't know. I can't tell nobody what to do. Uh, Let's see. It says divine abundance. It says you were born to align with love's will. Follow the Tao and serve something beyond the ego. Learn to be abundant not, and not chase it. Absolutely. All right, let's see. Let's get one. Let's get these uh these cards right here. We're gonna get an alphabet. This is an alphabet deck. Actually, you know what? Let's let's get one of these cards. Actually, yeah. I got two more dicks. <laughs> Give it to me. All right. This says, don't hate, meditate. <laughs> Thank your angels for guiding me through love, to, to love through meditation. So we did say something about you meditating earlier or possibly doing some something in secret. Uh, yeah. I, I feel like this is happening. Yes, they thank them. You can never thank them uh, enough. That's how I feel. It says, honor your beauty, Archangel Jophiel. Thank you, Jophiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. Yes, also the color green is significant as well, too. Uh, let's see. Underneath the deck, it says, the miracle of forgiveness, Archangel Jeremiah. Jeremiah. Uh, it says, thank you, Jeremiah, for helping me understand the process of forgiveness. Yes, I like these cards. Ooh, these look good. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's see. We're going to get this. some of these. Uh, we're going to get, they say get, they say get nine. Okay, I'm going to get nine letters. All right, we got, we got an M for monkey uh, Sagittarius energy. We got an H for heart. L for lion. We have uh, another L, lowercase L for lollipop. Uh, wow, that was a lot. Should I put these back? Maybe not. Let me take this one. We got G for goat, Capricorn energy. We have U for umbrella. That's a lot. Okay, we just gonna take them. We got K for key, which talks about open possibilities. Then we got, wow, look at that, another K for kite. Uh, we got Q for quail. Hey, let me see if I can put this down some more. We got uh, Z for zebra. And then we got X for X ray fish, Pisces energy. And then underneath the deck is, is F for Taurus energy. All right, so let's see. Not a whole lot of uh, vowels here. Maybe we can use this L for I. But um, I was gonna say, whenever I see double letters, that's, that gives me like a group or something like that, or someone is working for someone. I don't know. I just always get that energy, like 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 
I feel like the apple don't fall too far from the tree. I don't know. Somebody doing like someone or copying someone as well too. Uh, this These could also be the bootleg versions as well too. <laughs> I don't know. Something about Lux is here. Uh, K-Lux. G-Lux. Z-Lux. M-Lux. And then we have uh, Moo is here. M-U. FMU, FAMU, University, uh, what's that, Florida, uh, then we got, let's see, we have Kicks, well, if this were our eye, we got Kicks the Serial is here, uh, or KIK is here, isn't that like a, an app or some shit like that? Q and U, something about Q U letters or something like that. Quake, possibly it could be an earthquake coming. Also, it could be um, something going on with fish. I don't know if it's going to be a whole lot of fish being found somewhere off the shore or something like that. Something with the weather is here. We have M U H like moi. We have human here, H-U. We have something about the elements here or something about um, the periodic table. Isn't that helium? Or is H-E helium? I don't know. <laughs> something about uh, M-K, you know, that, that I think, yeah. Something about them. Ooh, look at that. For real. Ooh, wow. Again, I don't, I don't okay, I'm not, I'm not going to channel that. On this reading, uh, let's see. We have licks here. I don't know. GM is here. Something about GM or good morning or MG is here as well too. Uh, a manager of some sort or something about a home is here or uh, uh, hominin. You know what? They may be coming up on some new species or the rest of the species that they've been looking for uh, for a while. And uh, yeah. Uh, something about something is somebody could be humiliated here or humiliation. Uh, wow. Somebody could need an EKG. I don't know why I feel that. I just, I just saw KG is here. Also, it's a store called KNG. Uh, let's see. Yeah. I think these are the cards I need to pull, y'all. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me just pull this one. Right, so let's see. Let's get one more message. Wow. There it is. The butterfly. It says relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth. Wow, so that's what's going on with you. It's just a tough period right now, Cancer. You'll, you'll get through it. It's just growing pains, I guess we can say. Um, yeah, or somebody could have stabbed you in the back. I don't know. <laughs> somebody is hurt here. Somebody's trying to hurt someone or trying to see if someone is hurt as well, too. This is heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, and shocking attack. I don't know. Y'all need to watch out. Just watch out. I don't know. Carry your heat. I like you. This gives me a, a, a crazed stalker of s some sort. Somebody could just be doing something to get in your good graces just so they can stab you in the back. Look! <laughs> Break up separation. Stop the pattern. Silent like treatment and abandonment. You know what? I'm, I'm gone. I'm gone. That's it. Thank y'all. I'll see y'all next time.